Hello my valuable friends and welcome back. I'm Titivik and in today's video we are going to learn how to get used to more high class life, luxurious life, how to have more quality life experiences and how to develop this wealthy mindset. Now not every one of us has to be a millionaire to be discussed to discuss these topics or actually have wealth. Wealth what I mean is actually having one quality item that is wealth. Your health is wealth. Your family is wealth. Having things that you enjoy is wealth. Going to the quality places is wealth. So I want you to really understand that you don't need to be a millionaire to consider be luxury or have a lifestyle. You don't need to have a Rolls Royce to consider that you have a good car. So we're going to actually tackle in all these things and misconceptions so you can understand how to live more elevated life, how to level up with your life, how to have more quality life and how to have more luxury and more beauty in your life. Before I start, let me tell you, I do one to one sessions. You can also book online courses. You can donate and you can purchase my book and all other luxury items. All links are below. Now let's start. How you can elevate your life and how you can actually up level your life to start living more luxuriously and have more beautiful life experiences number one is you have to illuminate yourself from poverty this is the hardest step but is the most influential that will change your life drastically now you see if you are living in a very poor neighborhood you are surrounded with very poor people you're going to take their energy you're going to take their thinking you're even going to take their appearance I have noticed one of my friends, she used to live in the same area where I, I was living. I was renting um, a very beautiful house with the tall ceilings. It was so beautiful. And she was my neighbor. That's how we actually got to know each other. After that, you know, she moved to a different area and I started looking that she dressed differently. She started looking differently. Her hair quality uh, changed, her clothing changed. She started wearing more flats and her skin changed. And I said, what happened to you? She said, well, in there we don't need, you know, I don't have anyone to impress. We don't have any sports cards. It's very simple people and uh, poor people. So obviously from this beautiful girl who was living next door to the mansions, she turned into this little peasant. And I start, I, I really, I start tearing up. It was so painful for me to see. I said, you know, you have to move somewhere else because you're changing to, uh, I, I can't recognize you. This is harming you. The reason I'm telling you that people influence people. I'm trying to open your eyes that when you're with pop, uh, very poor people, it comes to you. There is a reason why we don't give money in the hand of poor people. Because very old times we knew this um, theory, this knowledge that actually you can take on their energy. That's why they have hats, they have little bags, they have little um, maybe plates. You put the money to not touch their hand, to not get uh, illness of their poverty. That's why I don't go and I give money to poor people. I choose a charity or I choose the clothing where I take them the clothing for the poor people. But I don't touch them. I don't go near to them. I don't talk to them. I don't give money to them because, you know, it's going to alcohol or cigarettes anyway. So I, I have nothing to do. If I see a homeless person, I'm crossing the street. You know, because I have nothing to do with that, that vibration. I'm not Jesus Christ to speak with them and heal them. I am not Jesus. I am princess and I'm woman. I have to protect myself. This is very important. I can pray for them. I give money for charity. I'm involved in many charities and I'm helping with my channel. But I'm not going to put myself in danger. So the first thing how you up level your life, up level your environment, is you remove yourself from poverty poverty areas, poverty places, you remove yourself from poverty people. This is the biggest step, I will say. You know, if I tell you 100 steps, you're not going to remember anyway. If you can take one, one thing, I will tell you this. If you live in a very poor area, you have to find a way how to move out. Maybe get a different job, maybe move with your friend, maybe rent one small room, but in a better area than a big house in a poverty area. And you have to look at your friends. If your friends are poverty mindset focused, if they speak only about poor things, then how can you be successful? I surround myself with millionaires. I surround myself, 
I've always been like this. My friends, there is certain caliber of people I'm with because it's the way I see myself. It doesn't, I don't need to be a billionaire to be with billionaires. It's just, I feel very comfortable in that area. I feel very comfortable in those places with those people, with their energies, because I'm the same. I think the same. I see the life the same. I love it. I was very young and I remember the first uh, man that I've ever dated. He took me to his yacht. He took me to the restaurant to overlook the sea. After that experience, what do you think? Can I date a waiter? No, I can't because my, my bar was set so high. The first, uh, you know, it was so long time ago. And, um, it was like the, 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 no one even drove that car and he's coming with this car. Of course, it boosted my self-esteem. Of course, it gave me some confidence. But there was something that drastically changed in me that there is another world. And of course, I saw that before as well. But it's different when a man comes into your reality. It's not your dad driving a nice car. It's a man or it's your friend. So illuminate yourself, remove yourself, distance yourself, disappear from poverty, have nothing to do with poverty. I lived in a very luxurious, very expensive area. And every time I will go, uh, expensive cars, expensive people, expensive dresses, expensive things. And I'm not talking about materialistic, shallow opinion. I'm just trying to say their vibration of expensiveness. I could sense that with my closed eyes. I didn't need to see people or cars or see beautiful things. It was a different scent, different smell in those people. They walk differently. They smell different. They carry themselves differently. It's you're looking at the quality. I prefer to see 10 quality people than 100 people that I just wanna, don't want to look at them. They put my mood down. In a poverty areas, you see these women. They are dressed like uh, homeless people. Kids are half naked, dirty faces, hair not washed. There is nothing for you to do in a poverty areas. Nothing for you to do. With any cost, you remove yourself from there. Find another way. But if you want to up-level your life, first of all, is the area where you live in. The house where you live in. And of course, don't jump over your head. If you cannot afford certain things, don't say, I can't afford. Say, how can I afford this? How can I afford this? what I need to do, where do I need to go, and let yourself be guided. God will bless you. People will come in your life. Family will help you. Friends will help you. I fully trust God. <clears throat> I want to move to the new house with the big windows, with the big beautiful lights, with the beautiful walls. I can see the walls. I can see how I'm going to put my paintings on the wall. I can see my beautiful lamps. God, I want this beautiful luxury house. Find the way. You're my father. Find the way. I don't need to know how. If I need to know how, then why am I doing this? <laughs> I want him to help me. I don't need to know how. And then he will send me the right people. He will send me the right catalog. He will send me the right money. God will take care of you. God is the ultimate provider. Just say, God, I want to move to the new house. I want a luxury apartment. I want a luxury house. I want a beautiful new house. Ah! I'm already excited. Let's move. Let's pack. <laughs> Where are my boxes? Let's pack. <laughs> watch me and number two what i want to discuss in here is that you have to uh, now when you're isolating yourself from poverty from poverty people poverty places you have to surround yourself with wealth experiences now when you remove something you have to put something for that place otherwise the old will come and it's the same with the wound, you know, when you remove the plaster, you need to put the medicine and you need to let the air to um, heal. But when you remove something, even addiction, you need to replace it with some positive uh, um, habit. So if you want to stop smoking or drinking, okay, replace it with a positive food or going to the gym or doing something uh, active physically with your body. So you're all, you know, taken care of. So it always has to be replacement. Now, so now we're going to remove the poverty people, poverty friends. Poverty, clothing, cheap clothing, cheap items, all to the bin. Now we're going to the wealth experiences. That means I'm going to the places where wealthy people are going. And it's okay. You don't need to be intimidated. Those are just four walls. You're more valuable than four walls where you're sitting in a restaurant. It's just a restaurant. And believe me, every person that works in that restaurant, they're getting salary less than yours. So you have nothing to be intimidated with. I love sitting with, uh, surrounded with the wealthy people. It's just an energy. There is so much peace the way they sit. It's like, oh, 
my whole world is mine yeah that rolls royce yeah it's mine it's just it's my car you know so i'm kind of focused on rolls royce but in general it can be any car name it whichever car you want and the way they dress you know the fabric is like silky their hair is shiny their makeup is on fleek their skin is beautifully taken care of <clears throat> going to see wealthy people it's like going to the museum going to wealthy beautiful restaurant it's like going to the concert it's a museum it's like a palace so how can you not give it to yourself so wealthy experiences is dating wealthy men dating women who have beauty if you're a man don't date ugly overweight um, not ugly there is no such thing as ugly i would say i women i don't think women can possibly be ugly no this is a wrong word so we will not use this we will say not taking care of women not groomed woman not not looked after woman so if you're a man and you're dating a woman who is not looked after who is overweight you know has extra things to take care of you can illuminate her and date a beautiful woman who is taken care of whose weight is beautiful who is uh, uh, groomed and luxuriously beautiful the same is with women you don't need to date a man who does not have money who is counting his pennies who is uh, jobless who is stressed who doesn't have a work who is whose uh, clothing is dirty you can date a wealthy man who has things is together who has the job who has the house who has the car so you are living in these two realities you can be poor or you can be wealthy it is up to you no one is deciding for you i decide i choose to be wealthy i am wealthy i am wealth this is what i choose you can choose whatever you want so by you up leveling your life how you do it is you choose wealthy experiences wealthy places wealthy people wealthy mindset channels that talk about wealth and wealth is not only material as you know in my channel it's a balance of everything i will never talk about one thing and forget about everything else in my channel i always emphasize the character the values as the core fundament of everything you do and finances i always tell that they're just the currency of the life so you have to have finances you have to find a way to honestly make finances but i always emphasize that when you're with wealthy people in a wealthy neighborhoods in a wealthy areas in a wealthy shops it's like your life actually is worth living it's so much more beauty in there there is so much more luxury in there there is so much more to learn from there's a different vibration different peace different knowledge different different feeling you get go to the beautiful restaurant dress up take pictures of yourself enjoy yourself with your friends or maybe with a spouse or with your family and just soak in that pleasurable experience of being wealthy at that moment you don't need to impress anyone you're doing it for yourself go to the very beautiful luxury shops and just look at the items touch the items it will make you feel amazing i went and um i looked at the bag that i wanted at the luxury shop and then i could purchase it but if i would never go if i would not look at these things things that i bought online i love when these beautiful uh, plants are in a gold pots I love it it's luxury for me i can have no pots i can have cheap pots but i chose gold pots and they have trays as well so when you put the water the tray holds the water so it drains by itself so the plant is not overeating hmm? this is a luxury you're talking about luxury pot they all are same same size same look same fabric same material of course has to be color coordinated so if i take care of my plants do you think i'm not going to take care of myself wear a beautiful dress beautiful earrings mm, a beautiful nice cozy chair of course i will you know i will live in a one little room but i will make sure that i have luxury things in there you put me in a mansion i'm still going to do it you put me in a penthouse i'm still going to do it doesn't matter where you put me i'm still going to live luxuriously I visited my friend for a couple of weeks and they gave me the the last uh, floor of their house so I had my own wing in the house it was beautiful and a couple of weeks I was supposed to stay there and I decorated you should have seen chandeliers I changed I changed the lights I changed lights everywhere lamps everywhere I bought the palm trees to put in my room 
everything you should have seen what i put in the bathroom everything was pink candles everywhere they're like what have you done with the place <laughs> because wherever i go i immediately put my roots of wealth i immediately put my roots of uh, luxury doesn't matter where i live i live in one room i live in a studio i live in a house i live in an apartment i live in a mansion i live in a penthouse i lived I will still decorate with luxury. You can't stop me because I'm wealth. Wherever I go, the wealth is going to leak out. So associate yourself with wealth. Start having wealthy experiences in your life so you can up level your life. Start small, small, small. Go to the designer shop that you desire. You desire. Go. It's just a shop. You know, I have so many designer clothing, like no one will even know because it's just uh, it's not me you know I'm not, I'm not going to just be there oh i'm wearing designer i don't care no one needs to know no one needs to know i know that's enough for me but i'm not trying to make you shallow or run after materialistic things no i'm trying to make you feel understand that wealthy things wealthy places wealthy designer things are normal they are normal when you will realize that you will not look at them as god you will understand that they're just normal things and of course if i'm a human being I don't need to deserve it. I'm just worthy of having it. So here you go. 3,000, here you go. Can I have this back? That's fine. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And that's it. It's simple. Simplify the luxury. Now, the third thing what I want you to understand, uh, and uh, this is very important, is that you have to normalize luxury. Luxury has to be normal thing in your life. If you want to up-level your life, beautiful dresses beautiful things beautiful uh, furniture or um, maybe some lamps or some mirrors whatever you're buying they need to be normal i prefer to have one thing but very beautiful very high quality very high class and it's okay maybe that week i'm not going to buy anything else but i will buy that mirror i love my mirror i have two of this i saw it it's gold it's antique it's exactly like i wanted when i saw it i was i'm taking it i didn't look at the price tag because i didn't care i knew that i'm i will not buy anything that day but i will buy this mirror and i bought it and then i saw the second one and i bought it again you have to know that luxury is normal i'm not saying that everyone needs to marry a millionaire everyone needs to drive a sports car and everyone needs to live in a mansion no i've done it i enjoyed it it was lovely you know but I'm not saying everyone needs to do it. No, but you can have luxury in a simple environment as well. By simple, I don't mean poor. Simple, I mean that simplified. Maybe you're not millionaire, maybe you're a thousand year, but you can still have a beautiful house. You can still have a beautiful car. You can still beautify your uh, house. I don't have any item in my house that I dislike, that I don't like the quality. I bought a very beautiful gold, um, um like a satin gold um tablecloth and i put on a table and it was so beautiful it looks so luxurious and i don't know how but the candle went on the table and the candle sticks so even if i wash the stain i cannot take it off so i didn't even think about washing the first thing i did i immediately went online where i order it and i immediately ordered another one of course, I ordered the next day delivery because, you know, when you are VIP in certain shops, they deliver next day. It's, you just need to sign because, you know, some luxury items require your signature. And this beautiful designer um, tablecloth came next day. I didn't even blink. I threw that other one away. This is normalizing luxury that this, no, I will never in my life allow myself to have a table with a tablecloth that has a stain of the candle. No, never in my life. And I didn't blame myself. I didn't say anything. I just threw it away. I didn't even donate. I have this habit that I don't donate things that are not nice, that are ruined. Because it means that I don't think that people deserve to have good things. I donate really nice things. Just the ones that I don't wear or maybe they're too small or too big or I just don't like them. So I even, my donations even are luxurious. So normalizing luxury means that you are understanding that you are actually luxury. And that you are worth of luxury. I say to women, don't buy this fast fashion. <clears throat> don't buy fast food. Don't engage in a fast, uh, short-term relationship. Because that shows that you don't love yourself. That shows that you don't value yourself. So you just take whatever. Oh my God, it's okay, I'll take it. No. I choose dresses that I love. I go on a date with men that are high class. And I don't mean by money. 
I mean by their character. You know, when I go on a date, for me, it's so important what man is having as a character <clears throat> because I'm going to spend hours with him. So what you want to do, you want to normalize luxury. It becomes norm for you. You are not irritated, you are not intimidated, and you are not like feeling that it's not for you. You feel that's normal. Of course I get to have nice things. And start small. Start with your food. One of the girls that I do consultation with her, her mom is, you know, very poverty focused. And she said, it's very hard for me to come out from her from this um, type of a mindset, I said, you know what, start with small. What does she like as a vegetable? What's her favorite vegetable? She says, she really likes tomatoes in a salad. I said, okay, great. Start telling her to buy the most luxurious tom tomatoes, like the finest line that that shop sells. And her mom was very uncomfortable. She said, no, why would I spend this much for the tomatoes? And her daughter said, just trust me, mom, let's get these tomatoes. You will really love how they taste. So her mom, bought these little tomatoes and she's like oh my god this tastes so amazing it has nothing to do then with that quality it's like that was like water and this actually has the juice and the color it's so tasty and her mom got so addicted to these tomatoes that she ran in the same day to buy the second pack now she's completely used to that she's buying everything finest class she's buying everything higher quality and she's not noticing but it all started with the little tomatoes i always say this story and of course, it escalated to, you know, better clothing, better bags, better car. She changed her car. So it starts small. You don't need to buy a new luxury car tomorrow. Buy lovely tomatoes. <laughs> and watch how you're going to progress. And the last thing what I want to mention is that <clears throat> choose quality over uh, quantity. And we know this very, we heard this a lot, but sometimes we don't practice. We see a cheap uh, clothing and we buy 10 dresses and none of them actually fit. But we see one, we think, oh no, that's too much. But actually it's not too much. There is nothing too expensive. Maybe for you, 3,000 is too much, but for someone it's just a bag. I have a bag, I'm looking, it's 3,500. So is it expensive? No, it's just how you perceive things. For a millionaire, that's not even a sandwich. What is 3,000? That's what he spends on a dinner. So you have to understand that what you perceive as expensive <clears throat> for someone is just a little thing. So you want to get to that level where you have quality, when you are not intimidated by things. And if you need to choose something that you're buying, ask, is this going to serve me? Is this the highest quality that I can get? Is this what I'm worth? And you know, when you start asking these questions, your whole life changes. When I was going shopping, I wanted to buy some home decors and I went shopping and I asked myself, I said, baby Tativik, what do you want? And she's like, I want gold items and I want beautiful big lamps and I want beautiful big mirrors. I said, okay, honey, whatever you want, buy whatever you want. This is three floor ginormous shopping center of home decors. I said, lose yourself in a pleasure. And she took these beautiful items. I said, don't look at the prices, please, babe. Just take, enjoy. And I went to the teal. They gave me a huge discount. It's like hundreds off. And I didn't feel anything. Except, I mean, by the money-wise. I didn't feel that I lost everything, anything. Because I didn't. All the money I invested came with me to my house. And this is the realization you will get when you are buying quality items. You are not spending money. You are not losing money. You are exchanging your money with an item. But your money is coming with you to your house, decorating your house. You, I'm wearing my money. My money is sitting all around me. My money is here. My money is in my vitamins showing in my hair because I eat those vitamins and supplements. My money is in my glitter, my, my nails, my skin. This quality of this skin. Have you seen this beautiful skin color? This is money. This is wealth for me. I don't spend money. I invest everything in me. I gift that all to me. So I prefer a quality over quantity. I don't need 10 earrings. First of all, I have 100 earrings. More. But I don't need cheap earrings. I prefer luxury. I prefer luxury rings. I prefer luxury bracelets. I prefer quality over quantity that I'm afraid, oh my God, I don't want to even show. No, I want to show. Do you want to look at this diamond? 
I want to show, I want to wear because it's quality. So choose quality over quantity. And I will give you a nice task. Put three boxes in one box. Put only items that you find that are quality in your high life. This is how you elevate your life. I'm teaching you, uh, telling you the practical steps. The next box, in that box, you put everything that is low quality, that is going to go to the bin. And the, the third box, you put things that you don't need, that are not low or high, but you just don't need. You can donate. They're normal quality, but you don't need. So illuminate these things from your life to up level your life, to get ready for luxury life, to have luxury life, to have the wealth mindset. You have to have practical steps. So what are those steps? Let's discuss again. Number one, you illuminate poverty from your life, poverty areas, poverty people. You avoid poverty friends, poverty items. It has to come out of your life. It's, it's actually a curse. Poverty through all generations, especially if you look at the Bible, in every religious um, scriptures, poverty is a curse. It's not a blessing. Number two, we understand that we are uh, getting used to wealthy experiences, wealthy places, wealthy people, wealthy men we date or beautiful women we date, wealthy restaurants we go to, wealthy items that we wear. We're getting used to the wealth vibration because it's a higher vibration. It's cleaner vibration than a poverty uh, vibration. Now, the third thing we were discussing that, you know, no matter what you do, you have to normalize luxury. If you, in your mind, you don't think that you deserve, you're worthy, that luxury is normal, luxury is not going to come to you because you attract exactly who you are, exactly what you think, exactly what you desire, exactly what you want, exactly who you are deep inside will come to you because it's a magnetic pole. You don't even um, need to think about it. It comes naturally. So normal, I say, of course I get to have this. Of course, luxury dress, of course. A beautiful car, of course. A beautiful place, of course. And beautify everything. I forgot to mention that by the time you're doing this journey, don't forget to be grateful and say, thank you, God, for this. Thank you for this. For little things, thank you for this ring. Thank you so much. I was dreaming about this ring and now I have it. Thank you so much for my skin. Thank you so much for my face. Thank you so much that you let my hair grow. Thank you so much for this wealth that my heart is beating. Be very, very grateful. And lastly, we discussed that everything, when everything is done, focus on quali a quant a quality instead of quantity. Don't chase the items. Don't chase the money. Don't chase just, just to have. But focus on quality of people, quality of items you buy, and quality of the life. Now you have a lot of things to practice, a lot of things to think about, but you can do it. I believe in you. Wealth, luxury, it's all mindset. So start thinking about it, open your mind towards it, and up-level your life step by step, baby steps. Take it baby steps and look how your life will drastically change. And you will be so grateful. You will be so happy. And then you can inspire someone else. Thank you so much for watching. And let me remind you, don't forget to smile today. Up-level your life a little bit more every day. You are worth of luxury. And of course, enjoy your life.